there, we'll place it. Where is... Oh, come on, target. All right. So, the space battle above Druckenwell continues on, and this week, the new commander in chief, commander in chief, the admiral. There it is, not commander in chief. Admiral T takes over. Uh, so T, go ahead and grab your D twenty. Tracer, grab your D twenty. You're both gonna roll. See who gets to go first starting this week. Oh, <laughs> all right. Uh, T was. Do you do you know how to play this? Has it been a while? When was the last time you played? It's been a while. Okay. Um. Well, we start off because you have succeeded. We start off with your fighter combat, so you get to place up to two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, uh, twelve fighters, or move twelve. You get twelve fighter actions. Um. So you can deploy more fighters, or you can uh, maneuver more fighters. How many um, more fighters do I have you. left? How many more fighters do you have left? Uh, whatever's in the acclimators. Is that their number, 2 and 13? Well, inside of them is uh, what you got. So if you right-click, there's two oh. lats left in that acclimator, and you got uh, an ARC-170, and the rest is uh, V-19s and two lats in the other one. They prevent bombers from attacking, right? Uh, they get to... Excuse me, they don't keep them, prevent them from attacking. They just will do damage to them. So if you kill them, they prevent them from attacking. So up to 12 fighters at a time? Uh, yes. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah. 12 actions. So you could All deploy right. up to 12 more if you wanted to. Or redeploy or whatnot. Yeah, um, yeah, but they might be out in the truck. Yeah, give me a second. Let me see. I'll deploy. Lats are bombers, right, technically? Uh, lats are not bombers, no. Oh. All right. I mean, I, I can deploy more fighters later on, right? Uh, you can on your next turn. Okay. I think I'm... Uh, and then just so you're aware, you do have some arcs here. Uh, you got two arcs. Um, they are capable of doing damage as well as an arc down here. just in case you want to reinforce anybody.
Did you deploy everything you wanted to? Tracer? It's not his turn to deploy. Oh, okay. It's it's per it's per player's turn. So his bombers don't do anything until his turn. All right, I think I'm good for right now. Yep. Okay. You don't want to reinforce anything else or do deploy anything else? Or uh, fighters can't do damage to the ships, right? Fighters cannot, no. Only bombers and uh, oh, no. other craft. Bombers and casts. All right, yeah, that's good for me. That's good. All right. Let's, uh, and then before we continue too far, just to make sure that you're getting ahead of the game as best you can. Uh, boom, boom. Okay. So, um, before we continue, continue, um, your Consulars and your Peltas uh, also get to throw some damage at fighters. Uh, Peltas can only do defensively, so they can only attack fighters on your side of the playing field. Mm -hmm. uh, but Consulars can shoot and fire into the enemy's, uh, the enemy's side. All right, so I'll do the Peltas first. Yeah, just go ahead. Just uh, declare where you're going to put put them at, and then we'll, uh, we'll roll All right, so I'll do Peltas to... I mean, you just you can just put the dice down where you where you need them. Um, oh, uh, real quick. You can only do uh, straight in front of you or to the left or right. Oh. Exactly. Uh, oh, okay. So, so then this gun, one will go here. Okay. Okay. And then where do you want your uh, consulars to be firing? Just place the dice in the zone you want them to be shooting at. Same thing for them next to or across next to? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice. A 10. Big hits. Ooh, all right. Now, before we start dealing damage... Um, let's start with zone three first. So you need to grab uh, three D eight, and then Tracer needs to grab his D four in the bag. Wish the bags were labeled. So three D eight. Yes. But to be honest, they roughly go from right to left. D four is on the left. D twenty is on the right. Okay. And go ahead and roll your dice. None of, none of mine hit, so it doesn't matter. All right. And go ahead and declare where you'd like to be placing your damage. Um, evasion negates the damage total. What about for the, these two? Do I declare that? Yeah, you're also going to declare those two. So where you would like them to go. Oop, that was, was five. a five. Yep. All right. Okay. Six. So that bomber's oh, dead. dead. That one's also dead. And five, six, seven, four, five. This one has one left. Oh, so close. So close yet so far. It's okay. You get technically another attack on the bombers. <laughs> All right. So these are them. Okay. And then... We'll do this all to, I guess, this section. Mm -hmm. So let's go Just ahead. Just to that see... section. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do combat for three. So go ahead and grab one, two, three D10 and one more D8. Are you deleted my D8? Yeah, I got, I got you. I got it. Okay. Oh. All right. Uh, 
and declare where you hit, sir. Lucky sevens. Where do I put this 12? Just wherever? Just wherever you, yeah, wherever you like. Just as long as all the damage is spread out evenly. Oh, I thought that was a seven. <laughs> no, that's a one. We'll do that. You gotta spread it out evenly. So everything has to be oh. hit first at least once. All right. And then the 12 goes wherever? Uh, 12 also has to be spread out evenly. Eight. <laughs> uh, you've you've already done the uh, what the damage should be, correct, Tracer? Yeah, that's exactly what it should. Be. Okay. I will get these for you. So that's brought down to an eight. It's brought down to a seven. It's brought down to an eight. All right. And then just so we don't forget, because I didn't notice it before, let's do damage in front of two. So we'll go ahead and grab a D8 and a D6. You want me to leave these dice over here? Or? Uh, no, you can grab those or delete them or whatever. Six and a four. When they go over here? Uh, yes, in front of whichever one, however one you want to do it. Okay, so these take... And then two D8s over here? Uh, yes, two D8s plus that D12, which you already rolled. Uh... So you got this calculated over here? Uh, do I have it calculated over there? Yeah, right here. Or do you want me to, I'll just grab another dice. Oh, uh, there you go. All right. Ooh, bad rolls from me. Nine two. It's brought down to a three. All right, and then tracer. Did you get all your damages calculated? Yeah, it's all correct. Okay. It's all reading what it should be at least. I mean, like, did you already do damage to your tri fighters oh. and stuff? Have you already calculated that number? No. Is that three what it's meant, or is that three without any reductions? That's without any reductions, I believe. Evasion. Have you done this one, by the way? Target. Uh, I think I already did all the damage to everything. Yeah. Uh, no, you I don't. I don't think I rolled for them. Cause yeah, I didn't roll for these guys. You didn't there weren't any fighters there's... in front of them. Yeah, but I'm putting my two hard cells into it. Oh. Okay. Ah. So that's a one. That's a six. I gotta go run and grab a bottle for my kid. Yep. Back in two seconds. All right then. Well, while he's gone, let's do two, four, six, eight, ten, or three, D eight, and a ten. One, two, three, ten. Uh, Tracer, go ahead and roll. Wait, did you already roll that one? I was gonna say roll all them together. Ooh. Yeah, that thing's dead. There's no way it's alive. Mm -hmm. uh, but it does two damage to... Nothing. Nothing, yep. What a great round. Mm. I mean... <laughs> All right, clear up this. Yes. Clear up this board.
Okay, then we go into his bomber phase, so I'll help get this set up for him. Copy, copy, copy. Okay. Alright, let me set my toima. So that way it doesn't take too long, or we don't go over time. At least so I'm aware of the time. Oh, good. It's already set for me. Yay. Thanks, past me. It's always nice when past you thinks ahead for future you. Makes your life easier. Oh. Is there a V-19 flight back here? Whatever. What do you think, T? You think he's going to go for that Providence? Finally wipe it out? Probably. <laughs> all, I need to, all, I, all I hope is he what, rolls. He has to roll. He's got to beat a, a he's got to beat a twelve. So he's got to be get a thirteen or higher to hit. Right back. All right. Welcome back. It is now time for your bomber phase, sir. So you get to attack right. any ships within the fighter's zone. So we can. Start with two, just for sake of simplicity. You have one ARC-170. Go ahead and choose your target. Uh, you can go ahead and like right-click on them if you want to know their health and stuff. Since you weren't here last time, that's fine. All right, so I guess I choose. It doesn't matter which one I choose. I'll just mm -hmm. choose this one. Which one? The one here? Anti-ship, so 4D... Yeah, 1D4. You have to uh, roll, roll, you have to, roll to hit us. You still right. have to beat shield. The way... Okay, so you have to beat the uh, the shield. With a 13, he does. Go ahead and roll your d4. Ooh, a two. Not bad. Average damage, bad, average bad. damage. All right. And then you got uh, two arc 170s, which, and you can Which one are you hitting? Oh, sorry. Here, I'm not even looking at the dice. It doesn't matter. Yeah, so... It does. Oh, no. Relook. No, no. T, relook. What? What are you attacking? Oh, I can hit the Providence as well? You can. And the Providence doesn't... Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, uh, yeah you can. So Providence. Okay. So did you... I Well, you already rolled, so... But you get to re-roll one of your dice. All right. Because you have a ace pilot. Thanks, Duncan. So the shield is the evasion. All right, so I didn't hit either of them, but... No, but you get a roll. roll. Come on, get a 13. Come on. Ooh. One higher. Still miss. Still, it's going up. It's going up. All right, and that... That's it for them. Yep, that is it for them. All right, it is time for your ship phase, my good sir. You can either deploy some more ships. You can move your ships around. And by around, I just mean, like, by one square, otherwise they negate their turn if you go more than one. By one zone, I should say. Or maneuver it within their zone. Or you can just go Oops. ahead and shoot. Choice is yours. Now we fire them all. Alright. So, zone two. Which zone would you like to attack? Zone Their zone Same two rules. or zone three? Yep. Okay. Let's go zone two to zone two. Okay. Yep. You can just do them one at a time as you get to each other's zone. Yeah, and then you can... D20 for all of them. Yeah, go ahead and declare what ship you're shooting at. Um, just uh, keep in mind that ships in the back get a plus two for each ship in front of them. For each one the of the screens. The Pelt is already... Okay, but separate anti-fighter, they can fire at the same... They can fire against ships as well, right? Yes, they can. But they only do one damage. All right, so I'll do Pelta to to mute. Oh. I mean, to this munificent. I'll okay. run to that one. Hit. Fourteen hits, so one damage. 
I can I have to switch firing against other ships or can I concentrate fire? You can concentrate you can, fire. You can concentrate. All right, we're going to bring down this one then. Okay. Uh what ship's shooting next? Acclimator. Acclimator? Okay. Uh you miss, but you do have a reroll if you wish. Is it once per for the whole round or is it just Once per the uh yeah, once per round for that zone. Okay, for this so, zone. So, yeah. so how it works is uh, the pelts provide one reroll, which is indicated by uh, the white. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use the reroll on the acclimator. All right. Ooh. Ooh. All right, and then the Arquintus. Mm -hmm. Same target, I assume? Yeah. 17 Hit. hits for a D6. D6. A one. I just right. grabbed it out of the bag and threw it. Figured it could count as my roll as well. That's fine. Multi multitasking, I like it. All right, zone three. Where would you like to attack? Uh, fighter consulars can attack ships, right? Consulars can attack ships, yes. Okay, so then I'll do Wait, consular can. first to. Let's focus on the. Um... Providence. All right, so that's going to be a Providence with an armor class of 16. Oh, oh that was nearly a nat 20. That's a miss. All right. Our Quintus doesn't matter which one. Painful. That's a miss. Are you going? Are you are you focusing fire on the Providence? Yeah. Just making sure because then I. <gasps> Not 20! Yeah. He is blown out of the sky. I need you to real quickly... Oh, I gotta pull up the rule. I forgot about it. Uh, hold on. Uh, what do I want? A D100? Want... It is a... It should be a D100, I believe. It's either a D100 or a D20. Hold enough. on. Uh, I'm gonna need you to roll. Rules for tabletop. I didn't think this I'm happened. I, or I don't know why I didn't think this would happen. Let me double check what it is. See, this is why I wish I was here for the D and D thing. I would have rolled. You I'm need just to roll again. No, you, no, this would just me all, uh, orientating. Okay, I'll roll. Uh, uh wait a sec, if it's the D one hundred he needs. It me... is. I think it's D twenty. I think it is too, but I'm trying to find. Okay, yeah, yeah. Roll a D twenty for me, please. The 100 is only for the uh, jump. Yeah, that's for the Probably jump. jump. Fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, nope, it just blows up in space. So there's just chunks of uh, debris in space. All right, that's the last for that section. Okay. So section four. Where do you want to go? Oh, we'll fire at... Fire at section two. Sorry, section three. Okay. So we'll do the Delta first to the hard cell. Okay. 14 AC. It's a miss. Unless you want to reroll. No, I'll save it for the acquaintances. Wise man. One more fire at the uh, hard cell. Uh, technically a 10, I think, how it was rolling. It's But it, if you hover over it, it's 2. I mean, I can re-roll it if you want me to. Yeah, just re-roll it. I don't know why. It's uh, Why it does that? It's cocked. Whatever. It's a 5. All right, so yeah. it's a miss. Unless you want to re-roll with right, that one. One more Quintus. To the hard cell. That's a miss. Would you like All to re-roll? All right, re -roll? so I'll re-roll. All right. That's a miss. All right. All right. Zone five. five. Get out of here, bad dice. Even though that was my nat 20 dice, but whatever. You used <laughs> it up. Pull the magic. Let's cut this fleet in half. Fire at one of the munificent. All right. Well, which munificent? Um, that one, sure. 
Okay. We'll do Dreadnought. All right. Three's a miss. Would you like to re-roll? Um, do I have to declare it now, or can I get through all my rolls and then say You'd which one I want to declare it now, because otherwise it's useless. All right, so turn. then, yeah, I'm going to re-roll for the Dreadnought. All right. That's a miss. Get out of here, bad dice. Banish the Shadow Realm. All right, All right Arquintus. All right. He's going to fire. I mean, still focus fire. That's a miss. And the Pelta hits. Are we keeping track of Pelta hits? No, we're not. We don't keep track of any of this. Oh my gosh, we we gotta start doing that. I'm pretty sure the Pelta has the highest start. accuracy rating. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. So it does one damage. I mean, that's fine. Whatever. Woo! All right, end All zone, right, zone six. six. I'll have the the consular fire first. At, okay. At this one. Okay. That's a hit. For a D4, I believe. Yes, one D4. One damage. All right, Pelta. Sorry, which ship was that? Uh, the this top one. one. How much damage? One. Uh, now it's up to add another one on top of that. So two damage yeah. to be lost in total so far. All right, Acclimator. 12 does nice. not hit, or does not bring its shield, I should say. All right. Oh, 13 barely. hits. <laughs> so go ahead and roll your D8. For one more damage. <laughs> I don't think the uh, dragging it out of the bag strategy is working out too well. Either. Go ahead and clear the board. Right. That is the uh, end yeah. of your turn. Tracer, it is now your turn. I get 10 fighter demons because of the amount of uh, liquids I have on the board. Yep. One, four. One, two, three, four. I am up to an eight total deployment. Mm -hmm. uh... Does that mean I just killed the Admiral, though? Nope. Oh. oh, I didn't kill him. Mm -mm. <laughs> Admiral, I was the Admiral say, back rescued in reserves, him, and then we I mean. just kill him right away. The Admiral's back in reserves. He's just oh, gotten to his ship. The, rec uh, the reclusant. Mm -hmm. All right. Interesting. And there we go. All right. So, kicking things off, we're going to kick things off with section two. Uh, Real quick, T, you do still have access to your Peltas and your Consulars. They still get to shoot. All right. Are you putting it first? You got to place it down where you want to shoot oh, first. Oh, sorry. Right Not here. roll first. My bad. Pulses can only shoot defensively. Oh. Uh, DC. Yeah, I guess they don't really get to shoot anything. So. Oh well. Well, this so consular still there, does. That consular shot there, which is good. Right? That consular can go over here, yeah. Oh. Peltas can only shoot defensively, right? Mm -hmm. They can mm -hmm. only shoot. Yeah, so I, I used that three where I was supposed to. Okay. Yeah. That one there, you that... can... Uh... The place on this five is about... Okay. Okay. I haven't rolled it off. yet. Was that? It was dead. It was a three in, uh, an evasion of... We're going to 
kick things off with We're gonna kick things off with Spectre Tool. Okay. So T go ahead and grab That's the wrong pace. <laughs> T go ahead and grab so uh, a D eight and a D six. Alright. Long dice. Where do I put them? Just anywhere? Uh, well, we're rolling for sector two, so you can just roll them if you want. Okay. All right. Good hits. Good hits in the fighter phase for you. All right. Go ahead and declare where you'd like to place them. Oh, for me? Okay. Mm -hmm. Then don't forget your 11. Is is that target? Hmm. They can't actually place this place because of the way I've distributed the damage. What do you mean? Because if it's hitting the if it's hitting the arc, it's fine. But if it's hitting the um, V19, it would be a zero. Okay. Is that fine? If you have to evenly spread it out, so however that math works. I mean, that is how it's evenly spread. Cool. That's the damage. So this V19 is dead. And this arc is down to a three. That one's still alive. Barely. So then I'm going to move on to Sector. Have you applied all the damage? Yes. So then I'm going to move on to Sector 3. Okay. So T, go ahead and grab three D10s and a D8. Mine all miss. I fucking suck, apparently. Free damage. <laughs> Except for that one. That one hits nothing. Let's just go ahead and evenly spread those out how you wish. Nicely done. Nicely done. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and keep that. Oh, I guess that you lost the D8. Uh, so go ahead and grab another 2D8 and uh, D6. Or, sorry, uh, 1D8, 2D6 for you, T. So one total D8 and 2D6? Mm-hmm. That's a D10. I thought I grabbed the wrong my bad. No. Where's the D8? Oof. Balls. Well, only the three hits. I mean, it doesn't really matter where I put it, so... I don't get a reroll because of the ace on this. Uh, not in this one. All right. No, Probably actually, no. He does. He so does. One d six. Mm hmm. Still doesn't matter. <laughs> Duncan, come on. I was just curious. Yeah, no pilot. Uh, pilots get to reroll for any di any attacks. Which this counts as an attack slash damage. So, Duncan's now dead. 
Duncan, no. Oh, technically there's, I think there's two more pilots, but I don't remember who they were. I don't remember who they were. They were supposed to get me the names. They didn't get me the names. All right. And zone five. To the what? Eight. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a two, and I knew it. Six and a two. The two does not hit, but the six does. Five hits. But not the one. So two damage to which one? I think that Tri Fighter. Oh, it's not dead because that, not that dead two either. is not adjusted. I remember correct. V19 is down to one health. One last V19 left in that flight. All right. Well, we would then go into the bomber phase, but uh, Tracer does not have any bombers or cast vehicles. So we go straight oh. into ship combat. Clear the field a little bit. Sorry, Tracer. It's all good. Oh, again. What are you apologizing for? <laughs> I'm going to kick things off. I need to remember what I was targeting. I don't know what you were targeting. I, I remember. Don't remind him. <laughs> uh, sector 2 is going to be firing into Sector 2. I'm going to start out with a front 2 onto the Aquintus. One's a miss. Both are miss. Both are miss, yeah. And then the back one. Onto the same Aquintus. Still misses. Sector 3 is going to be going in to... You don't get any rerolls? Nope. I, my rerolls are on my power. And that's only a sector. That card's out of date. It's a hard sell. Uh, and that 3 is going into 2. But you do have fleet-wide... Reroll. No, on, that oh, was on that was a that's, mistake. That's a, that's a mistake on on the card maker's behalf. Uh, three is going to go to sector two on the Aquintus. Okay. Roll in the front two first. One hit. Nat twenty. For a which means six plus six. an extra. I roll three or higher. He rolls a six full damage on the Aquintus. Which is it? That mayday, power. mayday, mayday. Uh, do we have our Quintuses as an asset? I think they're an asset, aren't they? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, that power to reroll, by the way, is going to go into that bottom munificent. Uh, yeah, Tracer, real quick. Well, if we do no. your Pelta first. Do your Pelta first. I mean, they're gonna have I, I mean I'm doing the reroll of the munificent. Oh, yeah. Well, Technically, the Munificent, what you fired on, is dead, so it doesn't matter. And then the Powder is going to go for the Equivalent. No, the Hard Cell is going for the Powder. You were, you were asking, Mr. Uh, roll a d20 for me, please. I think... No, our Quintus we do have we do have as an asset, so yes. Roll a d20. I want to see where this lands. It does not. It just, just exploded in space. We'll see if it would hit crash land. Um, okay, so that okay. was your zone three. Moving, zone moving four. Sector four. Sector four is going into sector four. One of the munificence is going to be targeting the powder. That's going to be the top one. Okay. Means it, I don't know what the shield is. Uh, 14, I think. Matter. Uh, uh, the recruitant is going to be going against the Aquintus at the front. Which one's front? They're both front. I'm gonna go get my plate of food. Doesn't matter. Right they're the same. Okay. Well, say which one. It's they're the exact same health. It you literally doesn't matter. You get to choose which one is it. Which one he's shooting at? I don't care if they're both that twins. One. They have different personalities. Which one he's shooting at? All right. Damn it. 
2d8. Seven. Nine. Nine damage. All right. Well, he's getting to play the food. I will do the math for him. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I can do math. I don't need to use my hands to count. In this <laughs> simple, simple equation. Game. Um, <laughs> that second Munificent is going to go into that Aquintus as well. Didn't you fire both the Munificents? I fired one. Oh. All right. It's a miss. Sector 5 is going to be going into Sector 5. All right. Straight Bottom across the field. First. Going into the Dreadnought. Okay. Bottom Munificent. Bottom Munificent Dreadnought. All right. That's a miss. Hits. Oh, never mind. I forgot that it's a lot. It's been so long. Been a week. That's that's a long time, bro. That's a long time. Four. Bringing it down to a two. Second Munificent. Into the same Dreadnought. That's a hit. Four four. Yeah. Yes, the sound effects are necessary. Very necessary. They uh, provide a, a, a morale a boost to the troops. Morale boost, yes, morale boost. <laughs> uh, moving on, we're then going to be doing the hard cell, which might actually get to use the reroll on itself. Oh man! Into you know what? We'll go for it. The powder, uh, the powder at the back. All right, which is just a d12 or a 12? Not a d12. It misses. Reroll. There's no reason. Because why wouldn't I? Yeah. Still it miss. Still misses. <laughs> Moving on, we're gonna go sector six into sector six. We're gonna be kicking things off with the powder. Because why wouldn't I get the reroll while lost the field? <laughs> uh, both for munificence into the powder. Nat One not twenty, so six plus. Am I looking getting that? Five. We'll I think pelts we don't. I don't think pelts we do. Uh, pelts we don't. Will it crash anyway? No, it won't. It's, oh. it, it's exploding in a fireball in space. Uh, so that back munificent then is shield of twelve. That's got a shield. Of, you know what? I'm gonna go for the consular because I, it's the exact same shield value. All right. That's a miss. Doesn't hit anyway. All right, and that's the end of your turn. Eating. It is now T's turn. Cleaning up loose ends. If T was here, what would a T do? What would a T do? Well, I guess for sake of keeping this game rolling along and getting some free hits for the Republic, uh, I will play for the Republic. Oh, right. oh no, that means that means Nat Twenty's inbound. That's Nat Twenty's right. inbound. That's right. They're gonna right deploy. Back. Oh, you're oh. back. Okay. Back just in time before I, you know, rolled did things for you. Yeah, uh, it's now your turn. Just in time, the middle name. It's now your turn. You have still your two, four, six, eight, twelve fighter actions you can do, so you can reinforce. These guys dead? No, no, no. These guys. I uh, was going to spawn those guys in from your okay. acclimator. How many ships did I lose? Uh, you lost a Quintus, a Dreadnought, and a Pelta. So, Tracer. So that's my three fighter, right? All my other fighters gone? Yep, that's all you got. Everything else is planet side. I thought I had two lats in here. Here they are. Oh, are you, are you already using the lat? He is calling in the reserves, baby. Fuck yeah, I don't care about Razor. Wow, okay. You heard it here. Wow, okay. You don't want to deploy <laughs> these guys forward? What, what guys? These guys. Yeah, I'm going to. Aha. Uh -huh. Four, five, six, seven... Oh. Okay. So you've used three of your actions. Four. That's six, right? Mm hmm I mean, I'll put the lats back if if I go over. Yeah, that's fine. 
Yeah, so that was six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, I only have to deploy two lats. If I even need to. We'll do this. Target, you're not very good at this whole stream of th are you? <laughs> Why? We talk about. That was eight. I'm just throwing shade. What do you mean? Stop throwing shade. You can't throw shade. It's not a real object and you can throw. You can throw a lamp shade. 11. Oh, you know what? That's fair. That is, you know what? You've got me there. <laughs> That's it, everybody. I'm going home. Oh, wait. I'm already home. Never mind. <laughs> I'm back. Oh, no. Damn. I got rid of him. But it no. finally ousted him. You can't. I can if I try hard enough. Actually, wait. V19s do... Uh, Z75s more, so put them there. All right, it literally won't matter. Back into your. <sighs> the lap pilot's like, are you sure? <laughs> yep. Lap pilot's like there, hovering. Your countries. All right. That's like hovering at the entrance. Well, you don't. Uh... You can't use your peltas, so you have two uh, D12s that you can still shoot. Um. Well, really, you can only do this one. So, where do you want to throw this? Uh, this one right here. This one? Just yeah, this it's one? either into four or, or to two. Which one do you want to you want to shoot it into? And this console can attack here. Yeah, it's already there. That's why I put it down. Oh, okay. It's just the one that you need to decide. Four, two. Let's do four. All we right. Full well, calm down there, sir. Stop rolling dice preemptively. Ah! That's what you get for rolling dice preemptively. We're going to start in zone one. Okay. So we'll go ahead and grab two D10s and a D8. Are we fighting over empty space? You know what? I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to bother. Because I never moved the ships from there. Fair enough. When, when we did... When, when we did the, and 1d8? Yep. When Phantom was doing the shuffle tactic last week. <laughs> that tactic worked, so... Uh, six, one, and a one. Well, um... So the ones miss. Well, um... Good night, sweet, good night, sweet prince. Yeah, good night, V19s. <laughs> All right. Uh... They're coming in for a flank. <laughs> That's not how that works, but okay. <laughs> no, I like the idea of it. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, V19, or V19, so uh, 4D8 and 4D8, 1D6, 1D10. Forty-eight, D6, and one D10, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, six total dice. Okay, go ahead and get those ready to roll. Howdy, howdy, Adraman. Ooh, not bad, not bad. Three big hits. Go ahead and place those where you'd like. Target, was this one adjusted to correct value or no? Uh, no, that was not adjusted. Nope. We're Final not like you. We don't adjust. The arc's dead. Goodbye, arc. Weren't both of those vultures dead, too? Uh, no. They're on 2 HP. Oh, they have a DR damage resistance? Mm -hmm. The that evasion division. also counts as a damage, as a damage resistance. Yeah. All right, wrap up this turn, and then we'll go into war room. A ship combat as well, the ship stuff, or just the fighter? The ship, well, you'll do ships as well, and you'll we'll finish off there. All right. Uh, so, yeah, we've done all that, and then your uh, zone four, which is five D8s and a D6. So 
Is it Mrs. Does, wait, question. Yes. Okay. We never we never actually decided. Does that card apply to fighters? No, it does not. Copy. It's just, just to him. Game. It's just to him because we miss. That was a mistype when we were talking about it. Or just to him, his own. <laughs> I can't stack the consular stuff, right? Or no, miss you, it, no you, you still have to. You still have to spread it out. Is that Ark's dead? Nineteen is down four. Down to two. Down to a three. And down to a three. All right. Away. It's definitely work. Ooh, a ten. Yeah, that thing's dead. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's finish this off. Uh, T, you, I don't believe, have any more. You do not um, have any more of those. Uh, so it's now just time for your ship phase. You can call in some new ships if you want. These are Quintuses can come forward. Uh, any blank space will do. If you wish. You don't have to. Okay. And with that, we will start at zone two. Where are you firing at? Zone two. Two into two? All right. Declare where you're shooting first. Well, what you're shooting at. Sorry, not where you're shooting. What's your shooting? Arquintus to. Everyone's going to focus fire on that magnificent. The bottom one? Coffee. All right, that's taking damage. All right. It's a 15, which Stop hits. Hit. So a d6. For five damage, big damage, big damage. 11 hole left. Uh, your acclimator, which I forgot, has a plus one to hit, but you were rolling pretty low, so it didn't matter anyway when we were doing it. I was rolling for the Arquintus. I know, but uh, the other time. Oh, okay. I forgot that you had stuff that did that. All right, I'll roll for the Pelta. Pelta first. It's a miss. It's fine. I'll roll for the uh, acclimator. Okay. I'll re-roll. Okay. Not 20, baby! So that's 8 plus. An extra 4 damage. So that's 12 Bad. damage. Oh, nice! And we have a Munificent. Do we have to roll for it to crash? Yes. Go ahead and roll a d20 for me, please. It crashes. Okay. So now I need you to roll for me a... Um, oh, shoot. How big is this map? Uh, we'll, come, we'll come back to it in a second. Um, okay. Just keep, keep going. I'm going to look up uh, how big this map is. Okay. About 10 by 10. That's my 10 sector by 10 2. I'll move on to sec sector 3. Sector well, 3 is going where, sorry? Sector 3 is firing the Sector 3. Copy, what's, what's the... Uh, we'll go Arquintus first? Or do you want to yep. do Arquintus first? Arquintus is first, that's me. We'll fire... Oh. Actually, um, Consular can fire... I'm going to use the Consular to fire at the hard cell. That okay. is a shield value of 14, go for it. That is equal to, so it does not beat, and therefore does no damage. All right, I'll use the Arquintus to fire at the hard stuff. That's a miss. Just one more Arquintus. Sorry. My old good. hit, but I'll reroll. No, no, it's all good. I, I'll let you keep your value that you got. Miss on that. Sector 4. 3, 4, or 5. 
We'll do... Yeah, we'll do all fire on the Admiral ship. Okay. All fire on the requisite. That's Which a shield is value of 15. 15. Actually, uh, am I feeling froggy? Yeah, we'll fire at him. All right. Done. Yes, do you want to reroll? That's just Narquintus. I'll fire. I'll use the Pelta next. Okay. Narquintus is the one that does the DC. That was the one that does one damage. Just That's hit. a miss. A miss by barely. One. The glancing blow. All right, the and then I'll use the other Quintus. <gasps> Nat 20, D6, uh, 6 plus D6. Minimum roll. damage of, of 7, so... An extra 3. 9 damage, straight Nine to it, almost half 11. of its whole. Now, since I didn't use my reroll, can I use a reroll and still do the damage or no? No. Okay. I was just curious. Back to five. Is it going to be continuing to join in on the... Uh... Yeah, since he's at half, might as well. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for going it. Going for it. His admiral just Quintus. got back in action. He's going for it. <gasps> That's a hit. That's a hit. Wait, what were you we talking with? Uh, Quintus. Okay. To the admiral ship. Add more ship, okay, so real damage, real damage. Two, two damage, two, two damage. All right. It's on, it's on nine holes. All right. And this I'll, do, do I'll do the Pelta. In before it gets net 20. It misses. That's a miss. All right. I'm still going to save my reroll for the uh, Quintus. Okay. And then gets a net 20. Miss. miss reroll. And still Again. miss. And zone Victor six. six. Alright. Six or five. Zone six. Uh, okay, what's well, going to be shooting? Do the consular first to uh, the munificent. Of course, consular munificent. Miss. Alright. Aquamator. Acclimator. This is well. This is again. You don't no have a reroll. Oh, okay. There's no Pelta. All, All right. right. And this is where we end week five of space combat. Well, quote unquote, week five. It's week five in the battle. Week, well, the fifth week of doing. The fifth week around. It doesn't time. matter. Whatever. <laughs> time is weird. Uh, for stream viewers, what happened was uh, uh, Dreadnought on Dreadnought. <laughs> Let's see, this is week six, just so that it comes back. All right, and then we open to this one. Woo. I will be right back. I'm going to yell. I will go uh, tell the company commanders and such that they can come. Well, they could come in at any time. I know, I'm just going to tell Oh, I noticed in the CIS war room we're missing a chess or a checkers piece oh. somewhere. Mm. You didn't save any of those vendors to bring over here? For the <laughs> that's fine. I can do it later. That's 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 not the point. Oh, uh, T. Yes? Uh, I need you... Opponents. I need you to roll. Oh, yeah, we need to roll for that crashing. Yeah, roll these 2d10 for me, please. Uh, roll okay. one of them first and then the other one. So we're going to do... I see 10's value. Yep. I got it. All right, oh, man. Sorry, thanks, so that's a one. Where is it going to land? Man, look at those lions. So, uh, did you get my uh, dreadnought four. down? So, one, two, three, four. Ooh. What'd you name the dreadnought? What? I think it was it's like dead. It doesn't something. matter. Wasn't it like the something about monkey? <laughs> that, that's no, that was the pride, uh, that was the pride of monkey kind as a venator. Uh, well, there is. Yeah, yeah. Um, of course. 
Where is... But, Do I have a I magnificent mean, piece? What happened to age? Oh, wait. I'm finna age. That's where it's gonna happen here. No. <laughs> Dude, someone's playing Secret Hitler. Ayo. There's over nine... My god, this guy has a billion slots. Alright. I'll try to let you, uh... <laughs> I'll let you figure out what happens with that. Hey, Black, you good over there on that island? I mean, the Crash Magnificent and lands just outside we'll have Objective have Tiger or on Objective okay. Tiger. Depends on how you want to play it. It's up to you. Okay. I'll let you decide. Yeah. Oh, what? Do I do we have some not, Bridger, bottle for it? Uh, um, hey, Target. Hmm. Isn't the entirety of Bone Tower on Oryx all captured? What? Yeah, like all um, of fauna. All of POI fauna, that's all currently held by Psych 2. Uh, they passed through it, yeah. They they cleared out the enemies of Bone, Terror, and then they evac from Oryx. But we, we can go over the overview. Better be a good explanation. See, if you look closely, guys, because of these lines, we've now formed another fuck around find out graph. <laughs> I'll pull up the CIS. Oh, right. Open. We're back at it. <laughs> this is I don't your know you favorite could have thing. A line in the water. <laughs> to be swimming in trenches. That's crazy. Yeah, you know, like the Marianas Trench. Ops, Please, the love of God. <laughs> what, you don't want those? Underwater ops in which taking cover involves me going to the bottom of the sea and yes. then there's no cover. <laughs> I know you can work it out. I wasn't trained for that, bro. Man Frick was is... not designed to be in the water. Trick is I send you in first and I use you as a sandbag. Yeah, I placed it down, but I can't move it. Well, it's already where it's crashed. No. Yeah, it's over here. Oh, oh, that's okay. where it crashed. Not a different one. <laughs> Whoops. It's a good thing that next you got in and got out with that intel before that hit. Just barely. Already got a bit of. Bit of a nice uh, singed eyebrow when you were in. Or exiting even. Yeah, I'll try that concerns how you managed to get a singed eyebrow for your helmet, but okay. Oh, which by the way. I mean, some people have start... eyebrows on their helmets, so, you know, it's just a little, little, extra, little extra singed there. Hey, Leggy, uh, and actually, any company staff doesn't matter. I just said Leggy because you're Avalanche. But, um, <clears throat> Nexu didn't submit their intel packet before the, uh, CIS War Room. So, unfortunately, whatever intel that, you know, story-wise, but casualties weren't counted. Ugh. Uh, the uh, beatings will continue until morale improves. Tactical beating. <laughs> what makes it tactical? Uh... I just blue on blue. It's on cooldown? <laughs> It's on cooldown? Mm hmm. Alright. We're putting the training wheels back on Sandman's wheelchair. That's punishment. <laughs> I just want to let you know. So, we want to go over what happened with each platoon? First, uh, overview of the week. Uh, Start it off chronologically if you want, Klinger. Sure. So, on Thursday? We uh, took OBJ. Where the fuck is the thing? Okay, there it is. We took OBJ Camel. We took Beaver. We thought about going for Wolf, and we left that for Av2. Um, and then we pulled north and blocked the only land bridge in our area. Um, we're actually, I don't know if this map, because it's kind of bigger, represents it, but I have an image of the ending spot. We have a position that is by, and there's a town currently where our marker is. And all the way up to, I believe it's where that AAT marker is, actually. I'm not sure. I have to really find the picture, but um, we hold that position right up there as of as of right now. We just killed about 2,500 droids and about 150 tanks or so. But, uh, yeah, we took it and pain and suffering. The town of Calamar should be cleared completely, which is near Objective Beaver. Not only would you take, we take the airfield, we cleared the town and killed every droid between Camel and Beaver. That's it. After them, it was 
Spike two. two next. Spike two. Alrighty. Uh, Cyclone two captured every uh, and killed everything uh, from oops, PUI's objectives. Oh, hold on. Yeah, from Ejected Bone, Terror, and Oryx captured the HPT. Uh, <laughs> what was it? Jaff, Baos. Um, and enemy had one ATTE in their possession, which was destroyed. What else? Pirates had a copious amount of fucking rammers, I'll tell you that, as Bridger can attest. Um, but yeah, that's it. Is there a reason why um, it looks like uh, Psych 2 got wiped on the map this week? They evac'd from there, aren't they? Uh, as this droids were pushing them at the very end. We'd always cruise missile that area. Yep. Quick right, side Bridget. note. Found the picture. They, they, clear, they the... cleared out all the pirates and um, quite a few droids, but then they evac as soon as they got the HVT as droids were pushing them. The picture I just posted is of three's ending site. Found it now. Good job, Clinger. So wouldn't they have taken bone though, at the very least? Wouldn't that make more sense? Yeah. There's only a finite amount of droids on this small little island. Yeah. There were a lot. Compared to the kills. Okay, whatever you guys gotta do to make it interesting. Gar, you're up. You got into trouble. Yeah, it worked out all right. Uh, yeah, I uh, wanted to land near bird. Well, got Ackley killed a lot. Um, changed it up a bit, still went to Bird, uh, shut down the droid factory. Uh, there, captured what, six MTTs or something. Um, then went to Pan to find the info broker. Um, the whole area here that is, well, empty was, well, not empty. A lot of enemies in this, like, empty area here. Um, Found info broker, uh, got intel on minefields and turrets on certain objectives. Uh, I'm gonna post this here in the chat so that we know. Uh, yeah, turrets on Oryx, Sloth, and Beaver, and minefields on Oryx, Sloth, Beaver, Oroch, Prehistoric, and uh, Fiora. Um, then uh, I asked for company's uh, credit card because he wanted information and then Bridger and Castro walked in, negotiated, negotiations broke down and they arrested the guy. So we have one time info broker now with us. Uh, we are currently holding uh, yeah, around here, around objective pan and on this upper area there is a land bridge towards Victorin. Uh, we are holding that land bridge, uh, that, that, that bridge, it's just a bridge currently too. So we have uh, one squad up there, two squads down here, uh, basically sealing off this whole area against any incursions. Uh, kill a bunch of stuff, buddy. Well, not too bad. Twenty. All right, yeah, so, uh, Avalanche 1 deployed, uh, I don't think that he wasn't here this weekend, so... Nope, sorry, had to help somebody move. So, uh, yeah, we dropped in to around about, uh, here, Nick, uh, Simmerin, at some stiff resistance, we fought more or less exclusively pirates, uh, with some spec ops droids sprinkled in, they had in total about three ATTs, uh, my entire platoon now has rammers. Um, they also had some wireless vehicles mixed in there as well. Um, so we pushed in, uh, secured any, everything with PO and ancient, uh, CGI, uh, OBG, Wooly, 
you're cleared out nice and easy. Uh, we've got some info, you've got a data pad regarding, um, I believe really you said it was like, no, sorry, it was altered. Yeah. Uh, I believe it was like the trade information, but on like how yeah, the pirates I'll have, got I'll have stuff. Details. It was all in pirate code, and it had details of essentially what the pirates have stolen from our supply ships. On there, of things they have already stolen are rammers, as you can have already told, tell. They've mm -hmm. stolen our supply, our supply of rammers. Red smoke, as you have seen, they yep. stole our red smoke, so they were popping red smoke everywhere. Uh, some of our armor, which they have seemed to have painted red. And uh, a couple of AT ATTEs. What we know that they're coming in with, that they have recently stolen, apparently, are some saber tanks. And so they might have some of those in the future. All right, so yeah, that's what he was able to get. We paid the man. He also gave us a name. It was just some captain dude, not top dog. But yeah, uh, we then pushed further south towards the bridge that connects this kind of trio here. And then I gave the order to fire on OBG Age with all my cruise missiles, which is why it's not black. Uh, I believe we was basically told that the spaceport there is no longer there, and the Razor also seeded that place beforehand as well and did a number on the AA company, unknown if they'd still have survived both the seeding and the cruise missiling. Um, but yeah, and I also did keep the cruise missiles as far north as I could to not hit Bear and that kind of surrounding area. So. Fingers crossed the civilian casualties on that front would have been minimalized. But everyone should now have a clear path inland. That's it. Oh, also, there's minefields here. Uh, I have two. Manta. So, yeah, we dropped just south of Objective Rhino. Um, we pushed up, it was a hard push, big hill up there to the facility, um, uh, captured an HVT, um, at Objective Rhino, um, cleared the city just to the east as well, uh, the and pushed across northeast to Sloth, um, where the factory was, um, we shut down the factory, squads pretty much handled all the contacts, it was heavy, heavy contacts at Sloth, uh, crate broke off and shut down the factory. Uh, while well, the squads dealt with the contacts, pushed past there and ended up kind of stalled at the position we were at. Um, as we were kind of getting a little uh, spread thin. Um, but yeah, we pretty much ended in a uh, position where our marker is. We cleared most of the city to one, um, cleared a lot of around where Discover is. Um, and that two, three. Uh, cleared just right where the marker, the uh, Abitu marker is, and then 2 2 kind of held that one pass just south of where the armor vehicle is. So we pretty much have those three slash four land bridges around our marker to our north and west secured. Um, but we were not able to make it to Wolf um, in the two hours of our operation. But we were able to successfully get an HVT at the first objective and shut down the factory at the second. All right. Uh, Bandit. Can you the... oh, yeah. Anything you want to recap from the act like QRFs? No. Um, I will say this week, with it being Father's Day on Sunday, uh, we would like to also perform QRF for you guys this week because I will most likely not be hosting an op on Sunday. So please, if you would take us on, that'd be awesome. All right, uh, Bandit's offering his ass up if anybody wants it. Ooh. Dibs on getting you killed again. <laughs> Garvey's Gar you... Gar got left cheek. Mark, can you give me permission to copy stuff? Oh, yeah. I will say we are going to, this week, to help with some server performance stuff, we're going to be trying out seven-man QRFs. Um, so it'll be kind of like a larger team-based thing. And we're going to focus more on um, 
just reinforcing the platoon in certain areas rather than like taking on full objectives ourselves just so you guys are heads up but we can talk more about that when it comes time to planning op boards and stuff one one squad leader two team leads a trooper and a medic Is that the composition you're looking at? Just out of curiosity. Oh, uh, no. It's actually going to be a squad leader, an RTO, an ARC trooper that can be swapped out for an extra medic or a trooper, and then three troopers and a medic. Cool. Okay. So just like a, just a thicker fire team that'll yeah, operate okay. on one free. Okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, I know T said, uh, I guess they didn't submit their intel packet for their deaths and stuff to count, but do you know if Nexu had anything to contribute for overall intel bridger uh, i know they got everything except one piece um that they found so i believe there was um four total pieces and they got three of them the fourth one was inexplicably hidden so i know that they did extract some information um i don't know the specifics of that let me see if they have an intel packet some of our chats here <laughs> I don't know it wasn't during, I don't know it wasn't in time for the whatever, but. Nope, doesn't look like it. What I'll, I'll have a Sandman do is in general conversation or, or somewhere where, with campaign is just sort of publicly put out, you know, what they found. Yeah, we, we really need the intel packets, you know, as soon as everyone can. The only one who, you know, gets kind of a pass is, is Anta and Ab2 because they finish their op like an hour before we go into our meeting, so. Yeah, I mean, ARC doesn't usually do their own op, so I don't know yeah, if they no, have a, I understand. a just... procedure for that. So you have to ask them. I mean, I don't... I couldn't say. They, they you know, they, they jump when we ask them, you know, too graciously, so... I'll we'll assume they're still making their way back to deliver the intel then for story's sake at the moment, I guess. <laughs> you know, takes a while to roll Sandman's wheel to tear up all those hills. Does the wheel, does Every the training wheels make it easier or harder? Going well, up takes forever. Well, it, it depends on the terrain. If it's 4x4, four four, actually very well. <laughs> You put the training wheels on the front wheels or the back one? Actually, if you look at yes, my TS profile, yeah. shows the exact wheelchair he's using. I thought you guys <laughs> painted uh, flames on it. That was a custom modification later? Gotcha, okay. That was after the photo was... So your tax dollars are work here in America. <laughs> that was after the photo was taken. Sure, he's just not Skittles. <laughs> I can confirm he's not Skittles. I, I can't actually. I haven't seen them in a room together, so it is sort of sus uh, suspicious. So. He's a little bit. All right. Well, one last thing is the uh, Iat uh, Armaments Company. Uh, it's been happy that you captured the factories here, um, and so they feel secure enough that they can deploy their people here at the factory. They don't really want to deploy them here because it's too close to the front line. Uh, same with these areas too. And also up at Ancient, they almost... Uh, That's well, it. Uh, starting okay. it off for this week, uh, Bridger, with what we were talking about last week, thanks to Psych one securing us a nice lovely area, do we, we want are... to place our FOB? Well, we're FOBing up. Let's do it. I think Dig is pretty good. Put it in down over here. I mean, Pan does have like a small airfield, so there's Pan that. does have a small airfield. That you know that that has potential. I you guys were on the ground there. I will take your exact recommendation for location. But in that area, let's get that baby down. Done deal. My thoughts exactly. Thank you, Psych One. Tip of this, tip of the hammer. Do hammers have tips? Um, why don't you ask backwards. the... Depends on where you hold it. Wanna, wanna see my hammer? 
Oh I will say. <laughs> what brand is it? Nah, bro. I want to see your tip. Uh, I will say we we're gonna have great, you know, beachfront property, and the property value is only gonna go up from there. So. Exactly. Get everyone beach. investing now. We'll get the timeshare set up. There we go. Oh, so you guys it, nuked OBJ bone. Cruise missile launchers on my on my roof. Uh, yeah, everything there is pretty much wiped out. All right. Bit, bit of a ruddy neighborhood still. What were you saying about Bob? Uh, everything there is pretty much like. Red just turned to black. Destroyed. I didn't see it. Yeah. So. It is. It yeah, looks, no, it's, it's a marshmallow. It's a burnt marshmallow now. Char. Actually, it's just uh, charcoal. You dropped it in the fire and picked another one out. You can tell which one it was. Uh, Gar, you can go wherever you want this week. I, um, black, I know you have a request for, for a specific area in AO uh, this week. Uh, I have no idea where to go. Uh, Black, you want to start then? Yeah, Black, yep. you start. Psych 2 will push objective line, ground, and dodo. Well, that's going to be a very wonderful then if Av1 wants to come across their blown up bridge and secure your north. That was my plan exactly. We'll push twice. Maybe with Av3 pushing up and Garvey, if you just want to push the line, you know, that'll give us a nice condensed line. Cut it in half. There, right? And go through the no man's land here, I'm trying to get a signal company at Dodo to see who gets it first. <sighs> or Black, if you just want to concentrate a line on ground, then I will just take my stuff up to Dodo. Just real quick for clarification, mm. um, Dodo, the the radar that's being here isn't actual isn't actually a signal company it's representing what dodo is which is the planetary communication center but it operates as a signal company okay all right noted so don't don't blow it up because i think if altered correct me if i'm wrong uh, it's all not like it. civilian infra infrastructure the cis took not the hollow net and... Garvey, you could also yeah, take out that armor uh, heavy infantry company and infantry company if you're direct oh more. yeah I will try to clear the, like, uh, I don't know, the space Maybe in straight. between. Yeah. And so you're going left? Well, I, I do have a question, though. Uh, since I no longer have any Razor assets, uh, do I get more? Yeah, they, they keep a bunch of stuff in reserve, so we have more stuff each week. Did they get Sunset at your up? They did. Yeah. They sure mm -hmm. did. I didn't know. Yep. They got... That's why Diablo's not here, actually, because he died in the operation, so unfortunately he's, he's not oh. here today. Canonically, he is now dead. <laughs> unfortunately. He also got, Moist got also captured, so there is again? that. Again? Yeah. <laughs> yep, in, in, again. At the beginning, like right at the beginning. Yep. Again. You know, we're not sending uh, Psych 3-1 again to go get him. <laughs> like we did Jay. What is it? Um, like next or this campaign so far. Unfortunately, we can't because Psych Three's not on though, not on yet. Of course, they're, they're, they're getting they're they're getting there. They're not on you quite yet. They're coming. They're stuck in traffic. I might <laughs> I might make them show up next week. We'll see. Um. Oh. So uh, where, where you want to squeeze Dodo, and then where do you, do you want to where do you want to go from there? Just take a, take a nature walk, pretty much. And he got big I mean, things in front of him. From Pan to Dodo, I think that is. Enough. Yeah, I think. Um, I mean, you got Prospero and Victor in, and then you got Dodo at the very end. I think that's it. Yeah. You got three battalions. Prospero, I knew we believe that. Yeah, I mean, I think you guys yeah. have plenty to do there. Panther, what are you thinking of doing? Because if whatever you decide, I have to base off whether I go to Wolf or not. Yeah, so if no one's going to come into our western flank, then we're going to have to have to go west. Um, we would have liked to finish up, you know, get through Wolf, um, but that may not be possible. The other thing is, is Sunday is also Father's Day, so um, that's not sure how many guys we're going to have. However, um, I wanted to talk to Bandit to see if any got any of his guys that wanted to do an op on Sunday uh, wanted to come out. I think for Mother's Day we had 
like two squads worth of guys of Avalanche and almost a squad's worth of Ackley. Is that right? Something around that line, yeah. Yeah. So if, if that if we get a similar case this Sunday for Father's Day, um, we could do an op. I will put a uh, QRF together for you just and like now, just so we can kind of get a rough idea. But yeah, I can't guarantee for Father's Day, like right, of course. So I'll just I'll do that just so we can see numbers wise how many. Yeah, we're um, uh, Stones is going to put out a call and see how many people are going to be gone on Sunday, who's going to be here, and then um, I guess we'll figure out whether we have enough people to do an op or not. And I'll give you the QRF Supreme package. That's a full twelve man squad. Awesome. But so you're going to take deer and not touch wolf. Uh, yeah, if no one else is coming in to help along the line here around us, it's probably a smart thing for us to move west and, I and push north. I would potentially recommend, if you are going to have fewer people being Father's Day and all, that maybe you know you guys hit Wolf and then you just turn back west and sort of defend the crossings there. Because I know you had them labeled out and like pretty much dialed in for cash strikes. Clinger could also take three and uh, mm-hmm. DZ in on Deer and push north. Mm-hmm. If uh, Abtu just wanted to siege Wolf and, I uh, just to clarify my position, I'm my position just a little bit whale. Okay, this is whale. Okay. Uh, my position is actually extended from that town that I'm currently in all the way to that land bridge in front of Fonda Verde. Draw the line real quick here. Hang on. There's a land bridge right here. It's a it's a blow upable actually bridge right here, and that's our current position. Three three in the center, three one near Fonda Verde. So I mean, what I can do, right, is I can hit Wolf and just start going for Whale. Oh wow, I perfectly do that. And for my pause right here, three two's been looking at Wolf then for like the better part of the last ten minutes of the up, and I've debated whether or not to go get it. So I mean, I can get it fairly quickly. A lot of the stuff that was in there he shot at. So I'm not opposed. I just want to be careful because that'll allow them to drive up big wedge in between you and F2 and the rest of everybody else. Yeah, I'm trying to see how to I got that three battalions on here. Or I got two battalions nearby and what psych one should be able to distract that infantry one at least for a while. You guys are going to hit those three, we'll right? Try. Yeah, we're going to try to destroy as much of these three battalions in there. Black, I'm going to move your marker down to the fob since you guys pulled out last week. Richard, you said someone could come in on our western flank. Uh, yes, but I think that idea was blown up. Okay. Yeah, we, can we staff it dark, perhaps? Great time? Like you? Uh, I can see if the guys want to go this week. I know their time's normally Sunday, so it might be a little iffy with Father yeah. Day. But, uh, yeah, I, I can see if they're up for that. And who else got your cure off? Is it just, is it just Garv right now? Garv and Anza, but, um... I mean, oh, if we're not doing an op, you can, you can request us. Uh, I'm going to request another twelve again, just so I can, I can probably take Wolf. You guys were really fast. So if I take it with a whole squad, I can probably hit Wolf fast and keep going. One more Supreme QRF package for F3, and then have the mess of the platoon slug it out with whatever shit's in front of Whale and see if I can get to Whale or not. Well, it's a copy. Yeah, sort of do like a swing around. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that'll just allow and focus purely on the we'll west. Yeah, we can do that. I'm going to try my... They're the only land bridge on the map that I could see from what I was analyzing at the end of the op is this bit, Is this right here. This move my mouse. This right here. This bridge in front of Psych 1. And this one right here. That's the only thing that can get troops across. The map here is not that... Like, it's too zoomed out to be that. There is a bridge uh, here. Is there, and then the bridge right there. Yeah. But we have that country too, so they should not be able... I'm like... talking about troops flooding across this. Yeah, no. That there are only can... two access points. There, Everything else is a river that they'd have to wade through. Let's MTTs learn how to swim again. Ain't that, ain't that fucking deep either, so... Like, we're, I, I'm... Personally, I send my uh, maybe a squad, maybe three two to go hit Wolf with Ackley, and I can keep going with the two other squads. Yeah, or even if you have to hold Wolf, they take Wolf and then push. I think that'll work best because that will definitely prevent the wedge from being formed. Yeah, I think that's our safest call. 
Yeah, I'll have plans to push forward uh, the whale at, at, after they take it and see if I can at least get on that side from them from the river. Uh, Anta, I know you guys are potentially getting the act like QRF. Would you like to see if I can get the crates together to be like their own like separate detachment in your app as well? Yeah. For that I extra mean, manpower? Yeah. Alright, then I am going to attach crate to you. And uh, I'll see if I can have Merlin get the guys together for that. Awesome. Black, did you need cruise missiles for, uh... Ten. You want ten? Like ten. Are you gonna use them on... You're gonna use them on Fauna, right? I'm gonna need some of them too, probably. Wait, so Psych 2's hitting the island again, or, or are they gonna no, go we'll, hit the other we'll, section? No, Psych 2 is gonna be in the middle. On Can we story problem. take out the the a the enemy AI with I don't know cruise missiles? Uh, you, you can take out their QRF. Can we, can we yeah. auto resolve? <laughs> <laughs> you can destroy their QRF station and they'd be stranded there. Then yeah, sure. Bud was just cool. messaging me. I can get Zeta up here to take it. No, <laughs> if not, let's send not, Zeta. <laughs> if not, they could always eat that. Probably for next week, you guys can probably end up landing somewhere near Musk too at some point. Or to crush it in half. You don't take out the QRFs. Like, you, you pass through there, you can clear it out, but they'll just reoccupy that and they can redeploy somewhere else. Hey, wake up. Will I get something like this? Sort of push yeah, this way, following that. Like a pincer up towards whale with your yeah. two elements. This. Yeah. I, I think, think that would be the most ideal. I've made a polygon. <laughs> Black, are you comfortable with, with this? There's not a lot of whole spots to land from where you're going. I can always easy. Okay. Lines here. Yeah, you might have to, so I would probably recommend that actually. Mark my plan, boss. I'm not in game. An I clean marker in here? Um, actually, oh, Black, let's, do you need a spot to get in? Let's, let, let's talk about that real quick. Is there any sort of effect on AA after this past week? Because. Um, Psych One went through it when it came to that shit. Um, I just, hmm. did. Is there is there any kind of effect on that, or is it going to be similar strength? In where specifically are you talking about? Um, are we Dodo. Yeah, around Dodo, I would say. Dodo Bear, kind of that area. Fucking P frozen, I guess. AO frozen because it's called POA frozen, but it's like an AO marker. So. Yeah, P let's we'll call it frozen and prehistoric. What about that area? Frozen and prehistoric. Basically, that that, that island. Uh, yeah, most day here hasn't been touched. Even the one that, hey, even this one here that was cruise missiled and seeded. Uh, well, the airfield was completely destroyed. Um, but there's AA spread out along this entire area. He only had 15 missiles. He's not gonna have killed everything. And he didn't have eyes on everything that was there. Those so. missiles did work, I have you know. <laughs> the fireworks yeah. were great. Yeah, they, they under the limitations. They damaged of armor. it, but they didn't. They didn't wipe anything out. These are tough. We have water here, so I mean, if you guys want to get creative with inserts. Boats. Under the sea, motherfucker. <laughs> um, lads can They're carry slow. those little transports that y'all can sit in, and they can drop those into the water. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you right now, I won't go and swim. Under the um, sea. <laughs> Under the sea. <laughs> the British smell Normandy again, it looks like. <laughs> Hope it doesn't end up like Dunkirk. You know, what's the, what's, the, what's the fucked up commando raid in France? Yep, or something like that? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Damn. We're going for the CIS heavy water. <laughs> But there's water between. Never mind. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, this seems fairly well done here. I mean, like he's just gonna drop in on online and say, "What's up, bitch?" And then line ground. We'll capture both HVTs. I get three of the Ackley markers, so I at least can to put one on the OBJ Wolf here. Oh no, somebody fell over. I don't know how to. I don't think you. You all have access to copy and paste things, so. I had no idea. Thank you for this. Oh. 
Oh, we have a problem. <laughs> that shit gets messed up. Thank you, Target. Stop it. <laughs> How many accolades do we have? I think three people requested, right? Okay, I got three so squads. You're getting three squads. I want more. Please make sure that we um. Is Ackley even here? The yes. Bandit been there. Talking, yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Bandit. So yeah. Make sure when like we talked about with the from the like reviews and everything. Please make sure that your uh, deaths are being counted into the intel reports and totaled up over the course of the three ops. So um, we are available for one more if somebody wants another team. Or four ops, then. Um. So we know if Ackley got wiped or didn't. Yeah, that's something I'll make sure my guys do. Ultimately, that, then, yeah, that needs to be related to the medical. You'll see. So my band. Should it count to my overall death count, then? <laughs> so, no. the way that we were talking with, um, I believe it was Bandit, and how well we, like we were talking in general was after that last op on uh, Milagro with all of the deaths that Ackley sustained that weren't tracked if you want them to be included in your total death count I guess that's the decision we can make now do you want it to be included in your death count or their own separate one across all the ops I honestly no I don't want them in my death count so, <laughs> if an Ackley QRF is going to a platoon that is extra people going so the, the normal death count would go up It'd make, it would make no sense to keep it at the same. For terms of keeping things like, like documented, I feel like we should count them in the intel pack just so their numbers represented, but not count against the platoon they're with. Yeah, and then we'll total it up if they go for three. You know, they have their normal total number and divided by three or divided by four, and then we'll make sure that that across all the intel packets that it doesn't add up to whatever. Does that probably work with you, Bandit, uh, having your deaths tracked on, like, whatever platoon you're with, uh, intel packs? Yeah, that's fine. So you'll cool. have to do four, four information, or whatever, you know. I mean, we would just give the platoon that we're with our death counts, and then they would just put it in their intel packet. I press yeah. enter, and I type in the word Ackley, and then colon yeah. number. Well, that's how it's really difficult well, let's for some people. make that the standard, then. <laughs> yeah. And I guess the, the death count would also be including, like, if they get 12, if they get the standard 7, whatever it be, it'd be there. Yeah. Also, how are you guys doing it for this week? Like, half an hour after each... Yeah, I was gonna ask, is the half an hour meme on? Do we turn that on now? Yeah. We're on the ground. Epic. 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 Yeah, no need. First contact's important, but after that, it's fine. Smash and grab, boys. Smash and grab. All right, hands off. The fucker, I was just going to cast this on. Off. Everyone immediately puts their hands on. I literally waves my head back does, and forth. Does the fucking opposite. <laughs> so maybe you, my... you should say, don't put your hand or put your hands on, maybe. Yeah, put your hands on. <laughs> Everybody, hands in the middle. We're going to be like, we can team, all go back to team race, team dude. cheer. Just for my record, I have Av 3 with 12, Psych 1, 7, Av 2. We'll see how many we can get. Does anybody else want a QRF? I can give out one more. Since we are not on field. Can I have two helpings of QRF, please, sir? More, please, sir. sir, can I have some more? <laughs> What about I mean, second if QRF? you have it, just designate, <laughs> which, um, designate yes. which platoon gets the extra QRF lives or what have you ahead of time. What? No, you know what? Yeah, if, if you know what, Bandit? If it's not going to give you a scheduling comfort to get some to us, then Psych 1 will take you. It shouldn't, so I'll just give you another team since Psych 1 is going to have 7. That way it's easier to dish out between the two of you. Be really good if like the guys from <laughs> from like one go to F one like they just leave like oh we're going over there now. <laughs> that would be a little shitty, but I'll try to fill in where I can. You're making graphs. I'm out here making fucking triangles in the motherfucking hell. <laughs> I got three sides and no bitches. 
Dang, bro. That sucks. We out here getting the bitches, bro. I got you. I got you, Target. I see you. What do you mean you got me? What are you talking about? Got you. I think he just called you a bitch. Oh, dang it. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> Not like this. Like this. You're good, right? I think so. Richard, did you want to have uh, Nexu do anything this week? Um, I think uh, I'm gonna give him a break for for a week here, and uh, if you want to have Craig do something, I don't know. If, I'm sure Sandman will tell me if they want to do something, but I think we'll give him a quick break so I can. Uh, I had, I had to pull a whole element away from a platoon last week in order to make that work, so we'll we'll give him a break this week. That's fair. Does anybody have anything else to add to the plan, or the field, or the table? Or any questions, comments, concerns? I have three now the fuck around triangle. <laughs> Love to see it. I can't wait for the get fucked circle wait for that one. <laughs> I don't know, Avalanche, is, Avalanche 1's looking there. We out here with these geometry degrees. Why, why is that line, like, slightly smaller? <laughs> I don't know. It's like it's, it's, it's decrepit. <laughs> the piss line. Excellent. It's malnourished. Listen, guys, just because black Getting line isn't as big as everybody else. Nice color. <laughs> <laughs> color Jokes inside the line. I'm not even in there. Fixed it. <laughs> All right. Highlighter yellow brigade out. Oh, it's a piss line. All right, uh, if that's all, then let's break. Hey, uh, T, can I ask you something real quick? Bridger.